Dr. Hammer said the best way to resolve our conflicts and our tracks is, is first through a practical means, but then it needs to be resolved on a spiritual level. So what, what does that mean exactly? Because our, our gut issues, you know, they're not due to foods. They're not due to toxins and infections. They are due to unresolved emotional stress in your life. That is what's keeping uh, the special program on in your gut, causing the diarrhea, the pain, the blood, and the mucus in your stool. And we have to resolve, fully resolve, uh, th this stressful reoccurring theme. So for me, this was unresolved indigestible anger, uh, just scattered all throughout my life. And, and so these things had been resolved. They they have gotten resolved. So for me, I think it was being pissed off at my dentist when I was a young, when I was a super young kid, and and it was never resolved. It was resolved on a practical scale, like oh, I don't have to see that dentist again. But it wasn't resolved on a spiritual level, where now I, I've turned this conflict into, you know, oh, I hate all and not not just that dentist, but now I hate all dentists. And then it involved, and then I'm just like, I didn't get it. This this guy is stupid. Why would he do this procedure on me? And then it turned into, you know, I don't like all stupid people. And, and it just gets out of control. And I, I turn on all, you know, I create all these tracks, these, you know, what is making you emotional? We have to identify what is making emotion, what is making us emotional in our lives. And, you know, I'm very good at, finding practical ways and designing my life to make my life as easy as possible. Uh, but I was absolutely horrible at resolving things uh, at a spiritual level. And this is what Dr. Hammer said. We first resolve um, our conflicts practically, and then, but then at some point they need to get resolved spiritually. And some people are you know, just naturally good at this. And other people like me, uh, you know, who tend to be like more logical and think things out, you know, us people who have digestive issues, we want to, un we, we need to digest, we need to digest and accept this thing in our life. So we, we're, we're tinkerers, we, you know, we want to understand uh, how this specific thing works and why we want to make sense of the whole uh, ordeal in our life. And if it doesn't make sense, like we cannot spiritually resolve this thing. So what is the best way to resolve your conflicts? And it is, to, it is to resolve it on the spiritual level. And what do you think resolves something on a spiritual level? And just to prime you guys, uh, this, this, is, this message is coming from someone who was an extreme atheist uh, for most of his life. So I don't wanna say religion, but some sort of a spiritual practice uh, is the best way to resolve things on a spiritual level. Uh, well, you know, why do I say this? So if, if you are a spiritual person and you have full faith in your creator, your God, whoever that might be, and, and you know, your creator is looking after you, honestly, what do you have to worry about if the most powerful being in the universe it, you know, is on, has your good graces. You, you sh if you are truly faithful, you should not have to worry at all. And, and that's, that's pure logic, you know, that, that's hard for us to do today. And if you look back into human history, I mean, we're the most atheistic society that has existed today. You know, we have science as our religion, and we all know science is totally screwed up nowadays. You know, they don't know the right from their left foot nowadays, especially in the modern medical community. It's even worse than that. They don't know their face from their ass. So, you know, when you when you tr when you have that spiritual approach, you you at your core can be calm and relaxed about the stressors in your life. And I think the best. I I don't want to say religion because I don't like religions, um, but the but. Christianity and the in the teachings of Jesus are the best ways to resolve these conflicts because uh, it's the only air quotes religion 
that comes to you with open arms. You know, it, it is accepting unconditionally. The only one condition for Christianity is that you believe that Jesus died on the cross and paid for your sins. And if you believe that, then your sins are paid for. And this is and this is a, a big reason why I don't like Christianity, because most Christian churches are totally oblivious to what Christianity is really all about. Healing is a huge, huge, huge part of Christianity. Jesus was followed by a mob of people everywhere he went because he would lay his hands on people and, and heal people. And people would go nuts and they would follow him. You know, he, he created chaos like everywhere he went. And this is just not commonly taught in Christian churches. And it also says that the believers who are baptized have the power, have the same power. The disciples did this. You know, if if you truly believe that the Bible is the word of God and that everything in the Bible is true, then you would you you know, as a real Christian, you know, walking the walk, talking the talk and walking the walk, you would believe that everyone who's been baptized and and who truly believes uh, has the power to lay their hands on the sick and heal them. That's crazy. I, I, I just think that's, that's so cool. And there, there's, there's thousands and thousands of testimonials online. But the consequences of sin, and a sin is just simply disobeying God. And, you know, people, a lot of people think that, you know, the Ten Commandments are here to, to bore me to death. But no, they're, they're actually there to protect you from emotional turmoil because this emotional turmoil this is what's going to turn on these special programs all the feet it's the, the favorite story i like to tell people is when god was bringing the israelites out of egypt and the whole time god's like working all these miracles and the whole time the israelites are just bitching blah 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 oh, we don't have enough food oh, oh, oh. like the whole time then they start worshiping other gods and the whole time like god's like doing all these miracles for them and the whole time they're bitching and and that's what we tend to do today in modern culture we have like w the average poor person lives better than a king did you know a hundred years ago and yet we just bitch, 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 bitch all day, all day long. And and this complaining, grumbling, this is something I did all like really pisses God off, and you're really gonna lose his favor when he does this. But when but he is ready to accept you back with open arms, you know, the second that you realize that, you know, you're out of line and you know, are are ready to you know get your head straight. And so th this is, so what's the best way to resolve your conflicts? Uh, to me, it's to take the, the real Christianity approach to teach what Jesus, you know, what was teaching in the New Testament. Because all you have to do is, you know, believe that Jesus died for your sins. And the payment for sins is death and disease and death. It's it's a disease and eventually death. Um, but all you have to do is, you know, slow we live in a sinful world. There's there's nothing we can do about um, you know, there's nothing we can you everyone's going to sin. And that's okay. Our sins are paid for. They are paid for. And when your sins are paid for, you're not only saved from hell, but you're also saved from the hell you're living now with your gut disease. You walk on the streets and heal everybody. Uh, e like everybody. But the, the big, well, he did struggle in his own hometown because of their, their lack of unbelief. So I would say that the biggest factor in your healing is your level of unbelief, your lack of faith in your body. Oh, my body's such a piece of crap. It can't even tolerate milk. It can't tolerate the easiest to digest, most nutrient-dense food in the world. We need to have faith in our Creator that He created, you know, something that actually works versus, you know, what modern science says that it's, it's eating itself and killing itself. So, guys... Um, I know I've been quiet for a while. Uh, I've been 
trying to find the best way to help people resolve their emotional issues. You know, this past year, I've really gotten into German New Medicine and seen a lot of great results, helped a lot of people get good results with that. Um, but it got to the point where, you know, I really needed a good method to help people resolve their emotional issues. And Christianity is the best way, because a lot of the other religions, a lot of the other religions are great, but um, Christianity uh, is just, it really takes the weight off your shoulders. You know, all throughout the Bible it says, do not fear, do not fear, do not fear, because fear turns on these special programs and they're going to eventually kill you. God wants you to come to Him for all your problems. He wants to take care of all your problems, all your worries. He wants to take care of all of them. Half of your problems and worries are just simply made up in your head. They're imaginary. They're not even problems. More than half of them. They're, you, they're not even issues. They're just figments of your imagination created by the media and just our culture today. So uh, I've been working on my protocol workbook. Uh, I've been added a whole bunch of information. I've added more worksheets and stuff like that. Really got it updated for German New Medicine and a lot of Christianity principles to help you, you know, get this emotional storm in your head under control. Uh, I'm working on that right now. It's going to be done in the next few weeks, and it's going to be its own standalone project. Uh, I think the price is going to be $4.97. No, <laughs> the price is going to be $47. Um, and if you already have the program, uh, it comes with the program, but I will make this a standalone product um, and people will get crazy results with this. Uh, I'm really excited about it, guys. Uh, sorry I've been quiet for so long. I've just kind of been a little worn out with YouTube and you know, I wanted to kind of get my facts straight before I started coming at you guys with uh, this how to get your emotions under control advice. All right, guys, it was good talking to you. Uh, I'll see you later. Uh, leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out in the algorithm. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.